The Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro have an 8-bit color profile named Normal. It is a pre-processed color mode ready to use that doesn't need intensive color grading. But the Pro model also offers a 10-bit flat profile, decent alike, able to stand heavier post-processing. In this video I will analyze the two modes and show how and when to use them. Normal mode is the one meant to be used right out of the box, very interesting for users who don't have access to a computer or need to post immediately their work on social media platform. As an 8-bit color mode, it is able to display 16 million colors against more than 1 billion for a 10-bit profile. I know, I know, some people will ask, 16 million colors are plenty, why would we need more than that? Well, things are not that easy. A wider color palette renders a better structure of the sky and avoids color banding in uniform area and other artifacts, especially when heavier color grading is needed. Normal mode is exactly the same in the Mini 3 and in the Mini 3 Pro, although the Pro model has a bit rate of 150 Mbps versus 100 for Mini 3. A higher bitrate means less compression in the file, which in theory results in better performance in post-processing, but the difference in this case is subtle. Footage shot in normal is pre-processed in order to be ready to use. Normal mode in the Mini 3 and 3 Pro has been constantly improved via a series of firmware updates, as often happens with DJI models. After the release of the Mini 3 Pro, I found that the shadows were a bit too dark and that the footage was not exactly ready for use out of the camera, but needed a generous dose of contrast and saturation. You're watching some ungraded footage shot in easy light conditions in orange plantations in the east coast of Sicily, near Mount Etna. There are orange trees everywhere here. As you can see, in easy footage the clips are excellent and can certainly be used without any grading. Although things improve slightly by adding a touch of contrast and saturation. This is excellent news for users involved on social media. considering also the possibility to shoot video in portrait mode. The quality of vertical footage taken in normal mode is exactly the same as for the horizontal format. By turning the camera down towards the ground, we can concentrate on the tail and color rendition. It is not easy to reproduce properly the detail in foliage and vegetation. But as you can see, the Mini 3 Pro does an excellent job. The colors are nice and rich. Scenes with a large difference between the darkest areas and the brightest one, also known as dynamic range situations, are the one where 8-bit color modes tend to struggle. Under these conditions, a more intense color grading is needed, and this is not the strong point of normal mode. Being an already processed profile, it does not respond as well as a flat 10-bit one to post-processing. An area where the Mini 3 and 3 Pro really shine, for giving the pan, is night footage. Thanks to the very wide aperture of f1.7, the sensor is capable of gathering a lot of light and the results are excellent. Practically at the same level as DJI flagship model, the Mighty Mighty 3. 
By looking at the footage, you might think that this is not night footage, but believe me, it was really pitch dark. And the rendition of the Mini 3 is sensational, without a hint of noise. I don't worry too much about noise in my footage, as I use the excellent denoiser NIP video. You will find info about it in the description below. You can watch my video about it by clicking on the link on the screen. But with the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro, noise is not a major issue. This in a like is the 10-bit flat profile available only in the Pro model. This is not meant to be used out of the camera and requires a good amount of post-processing. It is called flat because the contrast is reduced to protect the highlight, although it's not nearly as flat as other 10-bit profile like the log. Since 10-bit profile can stand heavy editing, they are used in high dynamic range situations or to adapt a clip to the color range of a specific project. When editing these files, LUTs are frequently used. LUT stands for Lookup Table. It is an image file mapping the colors to modify the appearance of the footage. You can now see variation of the same clip using different LUTs and different editing values. They can all work well according to the color theme of a specific project. Compared to the normal profile, with this in a light, the colors are generally richer and the structure of the sky is more dramatic. With a flat profile, the ability of the person doing the editing is crucial to achieving the best results. I always suggest using this in a like for footage taken in the direction of the sun and in high dynamic range situations, as a flat profile reduces the contrast and makes it possible to protect the highlights while maintaining some information in the shadows. It is then possible to fine tune them in post processing. In this case, I find the footage overexposed for my test, but this is what was required by the client, and using this in a like, I managed to deliver exactly what I was asked. When the Mini 3 Pro was released, this in a like was an 8 bit mode, and it was a bit disappointing, at least in my unit, as the shadows were way too dark. But like the normal profile, the scene alike has been constantly improved by DJI. And it is now a true 10-bit mode, delivering good results with the correct editing. Click on this link to watch my video about the best camera settings for video with the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.